everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're going to cool things down on Cravings Food Adventures by making a delicious pistachio kulfi. Kulfi is a traditional Indian dessert made with heavy cream and this is popular all over the world. There's many variations of kulfi. You can get a kesar kulfi, that's saffron or a mango kulfi. You can get a mixed nut kulfi, but today we're making my all-time favorite, a pistachio kulfi. At the end of this video, I'm going to have a link to a mango kulfi. This is super delicious and you don't want to miss it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've come again for new recipes, I'm so happy to see you. Please note that I upload new videos every Friday, so be sure to subscribe so you're one of the first to see them. This recipe is my shortcut version. The traditional recipe for kulfi is made by boiling heavy cream together with the ingredients. Now this brings back lots of memories. Many years ago in 2011, I made this kulfi right here in this kitchen when I competed on Come Dine With Me Canada. I made this kulfi for my guests and most of them at the time didn't even know what a kulfi was. But when they tasted it, they were amazed at its light and fluffy texture. I'm going to start by whipping my cream. I've got 200 ml of heavy cream and I'm going to start at a low speed and I'm going to increase my speed till my cream is nice and fluffy. I'm also going to add one cup of sugar, just a little bit at a time, till it's nice and incorporated. Now, when you make this dessert, it's a really good idea to chill everything. I've chilled my bowl, my whisk, and all of my ingredients so that I don't drop the temperature at any time. Once my cream is nice and thick, I'm going to transfer that into a chilled bowl and I'm going to store it in my refrigerator. Next, in the same bowl, I'm going to add a can of chilled evaporated milk. This is about 370 ml. I'm going to whisk it and then I'm going to add three cardamom seeds that I've crushed as well as a quarter cup of pistachios that I've powdered in my food processor. I'm going to mix this all together and I'm going to add the tiniest bit of food color. I like the color to be a little bit green but just add the tiniest bit and this is totally optional. Once all of my ingredients are well incorporated, I'm going to gently fold in the cream into my evaporated milk mixture and then I'm going to add it to a pouring bowl. I've got another quarter cup of pistachios that I'm going to chop really coarsely and I'm going to divide these into my molds. Now, as you can see, I'm using traditional kofi molds. These are beautiful molds. They come with a stand and I'm really lucky to have them. But if you don't have kofi molds, don't worry. You can still make kofi. You can pour it into a Tupperware, baking pan or even use regular popsicle sticks and stands to make this. I'm going to pour my mixture in and I'm going to cover it. Now the kofi molds do come with covers but I prefer to use some tin foil. All I do is cut my tin foil into little squares and I make a little incision on the top of each one. I'm going to cover my kofi molds and then I'm going to put it into my freezer. Now I want these to semi set at about a half an hour. After half an hour I know that my kofi is at least semi set and the reason I made little slits into my foil is so I can insert popsicle sticks in them. These are just regular popsicle sticks and I'm simply going to insert them into the little slit at the top of each piece of foil. Now this is a really clever way to do it because if you put a popsicle stick in there without the foil, it tends to get lopsided and you don't want that. Now you don't have to put popsicle sticks into your kulfi mold. You can cover it as is and you can serve it without a stick. Once my kulfi is well frozen, I am ready to take these out and serve them. All you need to do is insert that kulfi mold in a little bit of hot water and out it comes and it's ready to serve. I also love to make these ahead and since I've put some foil on them, they're really easy to just throw into a bag and they're ready to serve at a moment's notice. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I do hope you visit my channel and subscribe. I have lots of recipes to share. Until I see you again, do take care. Bye.